This is going to take a very long time. I have a lot of dirt I got to move. Well, they survived their first night. It's really cold. I whipped that little house together real quick, keep them out of the weather, threw a couple bales of hay in there. They were just fine. I think they're adapting to being off their mom, no problem. Good morning, beautiful people. All well, that tractor warms up, so today, in the middle of cow chores, we are actually doing something that we've been talking about doing for a while. The amount of cold weather we've had and the amount of rotation we've done, we're out of grass. So what we're gonna do right now is we're actually gonna go park her down there in the woods. We're gonna just feed her hay. The reason for that is because I'm gonna be, like, basically, I want all the manure uh, that we don't pick up because there'll be some that we miss. I want it left in the woods. I want it where I'm going to need it because I'm going to be planting basically another orchard out there and I would like the manure pile right there. As we harvest manure over the winter, I'll build a pile and the place I like to build it is down there in the dugout. You can just do its thing, it's out of the way. Uh, just, it's a good spot. This is our, our last spot of the cow rotation for a little while. I figure we'll give it a month. Last year, the month of December, it warmed up just a little bit and we got a little bit more grass and we had one more rotation. So I assume that's how it'll be. There is some more grass like further down, all the fescue really doesn't die back like the uh, Bermuda. The Bermuda is pretty much all but gone. I think we can get one more rotation if we give it a break. So that's what this is. We're gonna move down to the woods, give everything, give all of our pasture a break. Tell you what, it, is, it will be nice to not have to move her. We parked her here on, I think like Thursday and I gave her a big round bale, which she, you know, knocked down and ate. I've never seen this cow eat that much. She ate nonstop for like four days. She was so happy when I gave her that hay bale. So what we're gonna do right now, we'll uh, pick up the fence, go set it up down there in the woods where we're gonna park her. The stanchion will get pulled down there. We'll move the cow and all that good stuff. And then I guess we'll come and start harvesting manure out of here, but I'm gonna put the chickens in here, let them scratch through everything. And this will be the last spot for the chickens too. And then I'm gonna find a place to park them for over winter. I might put them in the garden, let them sort through that. I might not, that remains to be seen.
I'm gonna go up there and get the stanchion. <laughs> See, this is why I wanted it on some trees, is because yes. of that one right there. <laughs> what a dork. <laughs> to everybody who's never had a cow or been around cows, this stuff right here is what yeah. makes it worth it. Hilarious. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> they know how to like open it up and get to the hay. Like they know how to break apart a hay bale. Oh, that's just what they're doing. Yeah, see, she's doing it too. There you go. Yeah, see, you they found some good stuff. We'll see how this works. This might be a dramatic fail. Yeah. And we might have to get them and just do like a slow rotation where we move them every like two or three days. Yeah. We did that last year. I think we would leave them in place for like five a days. A week at the most. Yeah, it was like yeah. a week at the most. Basically until the manure load was so bad we didn't have a place to milk that wasn't covered in manure. Yeah. But you would harvest manure every couple days. Yeah, like every two days I'd go out there with a and fill two or three wagon loads. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go get the stanchion. I'm just gonna bring the stanchion down and put it right here in the dugout. And then I guess we'll just get her and bring her out here and milk in the mornings. Oh. All right. So on the agenda for today, <laughs> Uh, dealing with chicken. Dealing with chicken carcasses, again, um, we just got them all in the fridge and stuff like that. Yeah, Don't we were gonna cook them day of, and then by the time we got done, it was like six o'clock and it was dark, and we were like, no. No. No, we'll just put these in the fridge and deal with these later. And one of the nice things about it being so cold right now is basically a natural refrigerator out mm -hmm. here. So we cooked a pot of chicken last night for like what hour oh, two hours yeah, and just until the chicken was cooked. yeah we just want the chicken cooked so we can pick the carcasses clean and then all the bones will go back in and we'll boil it down some more yeah. and then we have stock i guess you and the boys are going to be yep. picking chicken yep and i'm going to go work on a project down by the barn all right so here's a project that i've been needing to do since Pretty much we got here. Up here around the barn, basically this whole pad that I'm standing on, it's nice to have a fairly flat spot to work, but the camera doesn't really show how sloped it is. I mean, it's just the natural slope of the landscape, but I don't know if you can see it here. That is graded to where it kind of goes right there. It steps up into the barn, but that channel for water is kind of a nightmare because if we have really big rain events, uh, that will flood the barn. What my job today and over the next however long this project takes, I'm gonna get everything in here moved out. And then I'm gonna start working on scraping all of this dirt and grading this out. I'm going to basically take all this dirt and put it down here, start filling in some of these holes that are over here, and just generally getting it flat. So for today, I'm gonna get all my logs cleared out. It's almost log cutting season uh, who am i kidding it is log cutting season that'd actually be kind of nice get in here after i've scraped all this dirt off and start cutting up logs and then i have sawdust to kind of soak up all the mud eventually i'd like to put gravel down but that'll come when it comes i'm gonna go put the forks or the grapple back on the tractor and i'm gonna get all my logs moved i gotta figure out where i'm sticking them
Okay, I've got the bulk of my lumber pulled out of here. A couple of those logs, I figured they would have gotten a little bit lighter sitting here for almost a year. Yeah, those are really heavy logs. I finally just said, forget it, and rolled it down the hill. Part of it was I'm like working downhill to get it and it's just a bad position. And there's still like some garbage holes in here that need to be filled. And it was just like, it's not worth like rolling off into a hole. So I can just go down to the bottom of the hill and stay there until I get to it later. Now the rest of the stuff, I've got a few more chunks of wood. There was this huge oak tree I got from my neighbor that was too heavy for this tractor to even move. Like I could kind of get it up and scoot it, but it couldn't pick it up. It was just too heavy. So what we ended up doing is we got a whole bunch of wedges and we split it and the boys have been making bows out of it. It's kind of fun. It's an interesting uh, experience. Well, anyways, still have that one to do. That's half a log right there and that is still probably 2,000 pounds. This tractor has a hard time just moving that log right there. I'm gonna go eat some lunch real quick and uh, get back down here and hopefully I'll actually start moving some dirt before the day's over, but by the looks of it, if I can get to the point where I could scrape tomorrow, that'd be cool, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So we'll see. Hi, sister. I waked up. You waked up. Did you have a good nap? Came in here to find some food. It's three o'clock. We have chicken. Would you like some chicken? We have chicken. <laughs> Lots of chicken. <laughs> All right, I'll scrounge up something. All right. I'm back out here. Guess I get to get back at it. I'll just get as, as much done as I can get done. And whatever that is, I'm happy. Biggest stuff is out of the way. There was so many little scraps of wood that I had that had, like, I had set piles of wood on, you know, little pieces to keep them up off the ground. And those little pieces of wood had gotten just, they decomposed, you know, in contact with wet earth for the better part of a year. Some of those, yeah, they had melted. They had turned into beautiful garden soil. I think what's interesting is all of the sawdust that I've put you know, all over right here. I had enough sawdust to completely smother the grass from making lumber with a chainsaw. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of big. It's closer to shavings, like wood chips, than sawdust. Well, it is all completely broken down, and over the summer, grass grew through it. A few places where I've turned around right here and tore up the, the dirt, it's just like black, rich soil. So, I think the, the first few layers I scrape off, I'll probably put it somewhere where I can get to it because it would be good topsoil, you know, once I get the trash out of it. And then the rest of this, I've already scraped off probably four inches off of this right here to try to level it out because it had this huge hump in it. You can get on historicaerials.com, I think is the website, and you can find, like, we have a picture here, an aerial photo of this area from like 1956 or something like that. And there was a structure right there and there was a structure right there don't know what they were They're long gone when we got here but there's a very deep hole right here um, i have wondered if this was an outhouse even though we know where the outhouse was down there in the wood but what the guy who was here before did was he would take garbage he was running a dump he was selling dirt out of the dugout and he would take people's garbage and burn it sort through it and sell the good stuff not a bad hustle. I mean, can't hate on someone's hustle. But he would dig holes along this, this whole hillside right here, pile up the garbage, burn it, and then bury it. So I am not about to dig up this hillside. In fact, I'm going to bury it more. We can grow trees. Like right there, that is a white mulberry. That thing produced fruit this year. Sweetest mulberries I've ever had. This will be a fun project. I am just about out of daylight for today, but I am gonna get started. I am gonna start scraping up some dirt. I wanna see how, uh, how this goes. We had that hurricane come through and it rained for two and a half days, nonstop. Everything got soaked. 
It's actually, today is really the first day where it's not solid mud everywhere. This is actually a really big job, so I'm gonna get started. This is gonna take a very long time. I have a lot of dirt I gotta move, but it is getting dark and I'm kinda having a hard time like really seeing good and I don't feel like getting a whole bunch of lights. That thing has lights, but the day is pretty much over, so. And it's getting really cold. I can tell winter is here. Yeah, you can see my breath. All right, see, now my phone's going off, so that's probably Meg saying, hey, dinner's ready. All right, I'm gonna go inside. All right, I gotta film on the little camera because the big camera is so cold, it's like frosting up. I had no idea that uh, you were in here making gnocchi. Yes. This is very exciting. We we never have gnocchi because it's kind of a hassle. To, uh, yeah, it to, wasn't too bad today with health. I had mashed potatoes left from meatloaf the other night because I made like a giant pot of mashed potatoes. Which I appreciate. Kind of with the intention of making gnocchi. So. Gotcha. That's what I did today, and I couldn't decide which sauce, so it's gonna be like a serve your own sauce, spaghetti sauce, and then I have a garlic scape cream sauce. Is that that stuff you made? From the scapes. Ooh. All right, I think this one needs some dinner. All right, dinner was excellent. Gnocchi is just... Always a hit. Always a hit. I think we're gonna wrap it up right here. It was a busy day. There's a lot going on. Yeah. You've been incredibly busy all day. Yes. And I've been puttering out there. Yeah. It's a big project. Like it is. getting down there and actually moving dirt, it's like, uh oh. This, I haven't bitten off more than I can chew, but that's a mouthful. It's all right, because once it's done, it's gonna be so yes. good. Well, already taking dirt and filling in places where there's like, there's always been these like divots. Uh huh not holes per se, just divots. And it's like, hey, once this is all full, I don't have to worry about dry, getting the lawnmower stuck yeah. or when I'm up there with the truck for whatever reason, unloading something. Right. Having to make sure I drive in a super straight line <laughs> so I don't wind up in a hole. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be really nice getting all those holes filled in, getting that hill kind of graded out. It'll be good. Yep. So, I think we're gonna leave it right here. All right, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.